In this question, we have a circuit with a cell, two resistors, an ammeter, and a voltmeter, and we have to find the readings of the ammeter and the voltmeter. Note that for now, I didn't draw the voltmeter on the circuit. I will add it in later when we discuss its reading. We will start by using this equation from subtopic 5.2 to find the combined resistance of these two resistors. Here R total is the combined resistance of the resistors, R1, R2 and so on are the individual resistances of the resistors. We are using this equation because these resistors are in parallel. Substituting into the equation, we get 1 over R total is equal to 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4, which is equal to 2 over 4 or 1 half. So 1 over R total is equal to 1 half, by cross-multiplying, we get R total is equal to 2 ohms. So essentially this means that the two resistors here can be replaced by one 2 ohm resistor, keeping the total resistance of the circuit the same. In the question, we are told that the ammeter's resistance is 1 ohm. Let's combine now this 2 ohm resistance that we found and the 1 ohm resistance of the ammeter. Since these resistances are in series, we will use this equation also from subtopic 5.2. Here R total is the combined resistance of the resistors, R1, R2 and so on are the individual resistances. So substituting into this equation, we get R total is equal to 1 ohm plus 2 ohms, which gives us 3 ohms for the combined resistance of the circuit. Now we can find the current in the ammeter, in other words, the reading of the ammeter, by using this equation, also from subtopic 5.2, where R is resistance, V is potential difference, and I is current. Rearranging for I, we get I is equal to V over R, and substituting our values, we get I is equal to 6 volts over 3 ohms, that gives us I is equal to 2 amperes. Let's finally find the voltmeter reading. To do this, I have redrawn part of the circuit here that we will be focusing on. So we have calculated that the current that enters the junction before the two resistors is 2 amperes. Since the two resistors have the same resistance, this current will be equally divided between the two resistors, so we will have 1 ampere flowing to the right and 1 ampere flowing to the left. The voltmeter is measuring the potential difference across the resistor on the right. To calculate the potential difference, we can use again the first equation that we see here, R is equal to V over I, and rearranging it, we get V is equal to R times I, substituting our values, so the resistance, which is 4 ohms, and the current flowing through this resistor, which is 1 ampere, we get 4 times 1, which is equal to 4 volts, therefore the answer to this question is C.